Why does God hate me? Why does God hate me? At some point on our journey to find truth, which is Christ, at some point along that narrow path, things get so hard and so overwhelming that our souls fill to the brim with sorrow, especially now in these last days, this final hour. Because in these last days, as someone who puts pleasing Christ at the top of your list, you are going to suffer. It cannot be helped. And I know exactly how it feels for absolutely everything to go wrong all at once. You're just hoping to catch a break. You think to yourself, if I can just hang in there like Job, my ship will come in. But it never comes, and life gets harder and harder. So you finally go to your secret place and drop to the floor as your heart shatters into a million pieces, knowing that God could have already made everything better. And you realize to yourself, it's not God, it's me. So you ask the question that every seeker of Christ asks at least once. Why, God? Why do you hate me? You know, I actually remember that exact moment I asked that question for myself. You see, it was long after I had started losing everything. And my heart is aching just recalling that night. I had lost my wife to the enemy, and I had traded all my worldly possessions to ensure my daughter could choose who she was with and when, and I had tried to start over. But due to a work accident, I ended up having permanent nerve damage and was unable to work for the longest time. And I was obsessed with pleasing God, so I didn't try to pursue a lawsuit or settlement over the accident. So for the first time in my adult life, I experienced genuine homelessness. However, God provided for me as he always does. He provided me with a room where I would spend countless hours fasting and worshiping. And although my days were filled with deep sorrow, I had a direct link to our Creator. What I'm saying is, before I asked my why does God hate me question, I was already past what would have been the breaking point for others. So before I tell you about the night it happened, I would also like to point out that six months prior to these events, I had been given a vision of exactly what happened. As the events played out, I was blown away that I had already been taken to this event and experienced it already in a vision. So that night, I was on my way to take my nieces home and my daughter was going to spend the night with me. And exactly how the vision played out, six months earlier, my truck broke down in the middle of one of the busiest intersections in that particular city. I had 80 bucks to my name. It was 10 o'clock at night, and a cop was there forcing me to call a tow truck. And I'm 30 miles from home. So I tell my daughter to call her mother. And long story short, I had no choice but to accept a handout from the man sleeping with my wife and living in my house. Needless to say, when I finally got back to my secret room, alone, with no money to my name, I collapsed to the floor, and I believed this spot is where I'm going to die. I thought that to myself. I thought, wow, someone can actually die from sorrow. So I asked God, as I sobbed uncontrollably, over and over again, I asked, why God? Why do you hate me so much? And you know what? Right before 
my heart stopped beating, or at least I believe it was right before my heart stopped beating and I was about to die of genuine sorrow. I'm serious. I'm pretty sure I was about to die. I had had enough of this world. As I was crouched down in the floor, my face on my hands, I felt a giant hand placed on my back. This hand was so big, I knew that the angel it was attached to must have been crouching down in order to place his hand there. That's how tall this angel must have been. The hand covered my whole back and I could feel his thumb on my shoulder. His other fingers went around my back and were resting on my side. And in that moment, my tears stopped, my face magically dried, and I was given understanding. I was made to understand. It is because He loves me so much. It is because He knows I would do anything for Him, even suffer, that He would use that devotion for good. You see, as I stand here talking to you tonight, I wouldn't change a thing about that event because God loved me so much that He allowed me to endure these trials and tribulations so I could learn all these things. And when He saw that maybe things went a little too far, He sent an angel, or perhaps the angel was on standby. He sent that angel to me, and that angel kept me from dying of a broken heart. And guess what? Not only did I learn so much that night, but I was also told that the day would come when I would share this story, the story of the night I asked, why does God hate me? And guess what? God loves you so much that He made sure you heard this story just now. Remember, the journey to truth is the hardest, most narrow path in existence. If the path was wide and easy, these teachings wouldn't be so valuable. So move past this why does God hate me stage. Remember, God can pour out His blessings, but a lot of the times we taint it ourselves. We taint the blessings. God loves you. I challenge you to do this with sincerity in your heart. Go to your secret place and pray and ask God Almighty to show you how much He loves you. And if you sincerely ask that, when you experience that, please come back to this video and share with everyone what you experienced when you asked Him to show you His love. And if you have already experienced all this, what I just said here and told, then please share your story in the comments. That is what church is. We must all share our testimonies. We must all share what we've learned. So don't ask, why does God hate me? Ask Him to show you how much He loves you.